Oh, look at it now. Like look at away. it. Oh my goodness. Today's the day, the solar eclipse. A lot of people think it's a really, really big deal. And I think I think it's a big deal because everyone thinks it's a big deal, I guess. Do you think it's a big deal, babe, the solar eclipse thing? I think it's awesome that we get to see it in our generation of life. You mean we get to see it in this semi-cloudy cloudiness? It's up there. Oh, <laughs> look at this. I can see absolutely nothing. Okay. But when I look at the sun, I can see the orange circle. I'm trying to do it with the camera. I mean, I can't. It's cloud covered right now. But. Okay. Nope, that is not going to work, is it? At least with this camera. Okay, so today is April the 8th, the day of the solar eclipse. If you don't know about it, then maybe just people that live in my area know about it. But it's moving, it, like, okay, if, this, if, I, if my face is the United States, it's moving like this. And so it's gonna go all the way up to the northeast part of the US and it's, it's gonna be cruising right through here about 1.30, well, totality at 1.30. It's gonna start at 12, 18, 12, 18, 17 minutes it's gonna start and then it's going to go into totality which means total blackness, total darkness. Where we are here, the total solar eclipse today, we'll see its totality phase start at 1.36 p.m. and last for three minutes and 37.2 seconds. The partial phase of the eclipse will begin earlier at 12.18 p.m., uh, reaching its maximum at approximately 1.38 p.m. and concluding around 2.59 p.m. Enjoy the celestial spectacle, it says. So, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to, we got, plus we, Amber has a, Amber's hosting a Bible study right now with a bunch of women. And, and literally in Texas where we are, they, all the schools have let all the kids out uh, for a lot of reasons. I think probably the biggest reason is with so much traffic, because people are coming from all over the world with so much traffic, I think they're just worried about uh, pick up and drop off for schools. Get, they're expecting gas stations might even run out of fuel, grocery stores, because a lot of these little towns are inspecting, are, are expecting just an influx of a ton, a ton of people. Some up to a million people in certain towns. No one really expected this cloud cover, but because all the kids are here, now they're all coming with all the, the women, the mothers, to the Bible study. So we're gonna have how many people are coming over here? Like probably 50? Yeah. Including kids, like 50 probably. So, and that has nothing to do with the eclipse. It's just random. <laughs> it's just Bible study. So randomly we're gonna have a lot of people. And so here I am. What do you think? Are you excited about this? Yeah, I have my glasses. It's gonna start. But in... it's cloudy. Yeah. When I... I couldn't specifically see it with those glasses with the camera. Let me try again. Oh, look, 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 look. Did I just get it? It's not gonna work. Okay, so. Anyway. Ooh, it's completely sunny now. Look at that. Yeah, I see it now. It's crazy to think that that moon right now is in a crash course for the sun and within our vision of it. Uh, going like this. It's just moving. There's nothing's gonna stop it. It's gonna get completely, evidently, completely black right here like dark it's going to be midnight yeah. right here in the middle of the day that's at 1. at 1 p.m that's what they say i don't think i've ever experienced that i've never been in totality of a because i think eclipse. the last one happened in 1979 and that's when you were born that was the totality in texas or something or in this area i don't know because people all over the world experience it wherever it's actually hitting and it's never hit here that i could remember i'm assuming we're it's going to be like midnight and it's going to be really weird so I've got the GoPro here set up. Um, Paul is back home in San Antonio. He edits these videos and he's gonna be filming. He's filming, you wanna see uh, Paul right here? Look, <clears throat> this is what Paul texted me. Oh no, he, he didn't text me a picture, he FaceTimed yeah. me. So he's got a camera set up and he's gonna try to film it in San Antonio. And 
We'll see what happens. Where's the moon right now? So it's headed for the sun. So like, say your face is the sun, which it's, you're pretty enough to be the sun. It's going like this. The moon's going like this. I know, but where is it right now? It's about right here. I don't know what direction it's coming from. <clears throat> you can't probably can't see it yet. You can't I see what this is. But it's moving. You can't see the sun anymore. Is it still right there? I can't see it. Yep. Update. Twelve thirty-six. Cloudy. Did not set the camera yet. I kinda of think it a kinda of wonder if maybe I should. Let me check my uh my notes again here. 136 is totality. Meaning, totality means the moon has completely covered it. And that's gonna start in 59 minutes from now. Then that'll last for just under four minutes. So, I don't know, I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's glimpses of the sun, it's partly cloudy, so the sun pops out and then back behind the clouds. And so, I don't know if this is like a thing where I you know, need to film and show you guys that. Or if the, I think the coolest thing that's gonna happen in this video is this darkness that's coming in the middle of the day. That's what I'm, I'd like, will the birds keep singing? You know, like, will, will, will the flowers close? Will my dogs freak out? I don't know. I know there's a lot of studies around the world right now that are following the line of totality to see how animals react because there's not a lot of research about that, so. <laughs> I think that's what this video is. I think that's our climax. It's, it's going to be dark in the middle of the day in Texas in April. Well, I've definitely noticed, I don't think you can tell with this camera, but you know, it's now 1.06 p.m. And it, it just kind of looks like it's getting dark out here. It looks like it's about 6 p.m. And so as I noticed that, I was put on these glasses and sure enough, we're, it's, it's about halfway. Can't see it. And then all of a sudden you see it come through the clouds and it bursts through and you see it. Like right now I can't see anything. But a second ago when I went and got these glasses, I was like, whoa, it's, the sun is halfway covered. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you could see it. It's about halfway. It looks like a crescent moon. I'm gonna turn on this camera. Okay, so we, it is now 1.08 p.m. So technically, what are we? 20 minutes, 20 minutes-ish from darkness. Pretty strange. Actually, I think the cloud cover thing is, uh, it actually helps because it's, it helps with the, uh, the anticipation. There it is. There it is, right there. All right, so 115. And it's, I can see it. It's like a, a fourth of the sun is left. And it's kind of mesmerizing. And like, to be honest, it's so fascinating. And I mean, yes, it is April in Texas, but the weather is just like very mild and uh, it just doesn't, you, you could tell that the rays, the heat and the rays of the sun are really dissipated. Wow, it looks, it looks crazy. All right, can y'all see that? Ah, barely like it. The camera gets it if there's just the right amount of thin cloud cover. Oh man, I want so desperately for y'all to get a glimpse of this it's so wild it's about a fifth of the sun now see if you could I don't know if you could tell from out here it's, it's just kind of 
it kind of feels like we're on a mountain where there's just a, a little view of the sun and there's cliffs everywhere and you're kind of in a canyon. It's kind of what it feels like maybe. And now it is 1.19. So we're about 16 minutes away. You joining me now? Pretty cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm, we're talking about the word. It's almost done. I know. Did you hear it's going to get cold? It is? Yeah, like after it passes, it's supposed to get chilly. Really? Yeah. I was just wondering that because the temperature's dropping right yeah. now. Because obviously the, the sun is completely covered for a time, so it's going to be... Oh, that's drop. so cool. And then it'll go back. Isn't that awesome? I mean, the, I... I was just thinking, let's see, we are, uh, for the camera, we are, it's 124, we're 10 minutes out. And it's, I think it's worth the hype. I think so, this has been fun. The kids are out in the field. Yeah, the kids are all out in the field. There's like seven or eight kids out there. Are y'all finished with Bible study? No, we haven't even done our video yet. We did our questions. You're taking a break now? Yeah. For, all right. Dude, it is really neat. When was the last time we said this happened? 70s? According to London, it's never happened in my lifetime that I've seen. I mean, we saw a, a solar eclipse when Lincoln and I were dove hunting in November or October, but it just wasn't totality. Yeah. It was just partial. But this is wild. Like right now it feels, it feels like the sun is setting, but in the, in the sky instead of on the horizon. Temperature's dropping. It's definitely a lot darker. So you, did you hear the whole, the whole thing about it? relating to the three eclipses that will make the Hebrew letters. <laughs> so there's all this biblical talk. It's really interesting to study. Did you not hear my podcast about this? No, I didn't hear it. I haven't heard your most recent one yet. You didn't, you didn't hear the one that I hold, the whole one I did no, I, about I Mark 13 and no, eschatology? I didn't hear it. Well, that's your loss. Are you confirmed? I'm going to listen. <laughs> <laughs> did you listen to my last arise? Um. Okay, you're lost. You're lost. <laughs> Oh, wow. It's like, what do you think it is? Like an eighth? Uh, yeah. On the camera, it just looks like a round, a round sun. But, but obviously, I wouldn't be able to film like this in the middle of the day. It would be blowing out the camera. It is so weird. I love it. All right, turn the camera off. I'm going to keep updating here in a few minutes. Come back out, all right? Me? Yeah. I'm just thinking, I wish we could have a brightness dial on the sun all the time. We could have a brightness dial on a lot of things. It's like getting a little too bright. I'm going to dial it down like 20%, 40%, 50%. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, you just forget that we're just floating in the middle of space. <laughs> a lot. I mean, literally, guys, we're in the middle of nothingness vastness of god's creation man this camera looks so good because you're kind of your light it's filtered a little bit so you look like we're, it looks like you're in it's in the middle of the day but we've got a like a good like a, what do you call that it. a little bounce on you a little maybe we should film a new intro for me while we got good light <laughs> it's actually really good light <laughs> this is awesome That's so cool. looks like it's just edited I love that the kids have been outside all day, yeah. all day. Oh, look at that. I mean, for all the people that traveled here and were worried about the uh, cloud cover, it's gone. Yeah. The Lord's going to give us a sight. Wow. He's going to go, I want you to watch this. Three minutes to totality. It is 1.31. Uh, the camera is still not, just not doing justice. But it is pretty much like twilight. Like the tiny little sliver of the crescent. We were, Amber and I were just talking about how, I mean, it's just a sliver now. And how much light a sliver of the mighty sun puts out. I mean, it's just barely a sliver. And, and it's just, if you take your glasses off, it's just piercing. The brilliance of the sun is so bright. The tiniest sliver. And it is tiny. Oh. What? Oh, we're almost there. 
What? Don't you think we'll know when it's there? Like, I won't mean, it, yeah. Won't it get dark? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's 1.30. It's 1.33. Nope, don't look at it, Amber. <laughs> it's 1.33, and it's supposed to be totality. 1.37, right? And, oh, 1.36 in 23 minutes. I was, I was wrong. So we got we have three minutes now. One thirty six and a half. One thirty six and a half. It's a tiny, tiny sliver. Tiny. According to my watch, we're, we're now we're two minutes out. So is it going to be like a door and the like the door closes and it's dark? I think. Like, so. I think so. Because <laughs> you know, like, like the pitch black of night. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm yeah. hoping. I'm hoping because. Uh -huh. When you're in a room and you have the door cracked, a ton of light pours in until you completely close it all the way. Yeah. It's really weird out here right now. Like, will we even be able to see our hand in know. front of our face? Know. Because normally at night, the moon's out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the kids are out there just like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh, they're going to remember this forever. <laughs> Do you have your glasses? What? So, now it's a it's not only a sliver but it's only it's half of the top of the sliver yeah. it's all that's left yeah. that's the only light we have which is still too bright to even look at the camera just still sees it as sun i mean i mean oh They're gonna be in a field in pitch dark. <laughs> They're gonna be okay, screaming. Oh wow, this <laughs> yeah, is crazy. It's dark. Oh my gosh. It's 135. This is wild now. This is so oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> Kids are screaming. Kids are over in the field. It's like a it's happening. sliver. Oh my goodness. Oh, here it goes, guys. Oh Lord, this is amazing. Oh, look at yes, it now. Like look at away. it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at it. That's incredible. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Good. Look at it. Oh, my, oh my goodness. That's incredible. Do you hear look the at the stars. Screaming. The stars oh, popped stars. up. Wow. Oh. Oh, oh my Lord. That is so cool. Wow. Oh, there it goes, guys. Oh, Lord, this is amazing. Oh, my oh, look gosh, at it now. it's like going at away. It. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh, look at it. That's incredible. Oh, oh my, oh my God. goodness. Look at it. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 136. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish we were getting the reactions. Wow. I I don't have any words. You should run over there and get the kids. We have like three minutes. I don't have any words. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I I mean the heavens. Kevin, the heavens wow. the blue. Stars are out. There's stars. This camera's really good at low light, y'all. So uh, that's why it, it looks. Oh, it's much brighter on camera than it is. There, I, right? I know. Yeah. I, I wish I could. Um, it's dark. Yeah, I'm gonna record kind of what our eyes are seeing now. This is kind of y'all. This is what we see. <laughs> Absolutely insanity. All right, I'm gonna go back to, that's it. This makes me think of when um, Moses, right? He was on the mountain and 
God was going to pass before him, but he had to stand behind the rock yes. to, in order for him not to die, yeah. seeing the glory of God. And he still, you know, he like got to glimpse it behind the rock and he still like came still down show. beaming. Yeah. yeah. So the crickets are out. Listen. It fooled the crickets. <laughs> uh, th this is, okay, it's 139. Uh, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. And the Lord just moved the clouds out of the way. Yeah. It's been cloudy. It's been forecasted as cloudy all day, all week. I can't wait because I'm time lapsing and I can't wait for that sun just to just shoot through yeah. there. <sighs> oh, there it goes. There it comes. Oh, yeah. There it comes. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh. That's insane. Whoa. Okay. Whoa! Like, glasses back on. Like I'm blinded. This is so weird. It's like the sun is coming back up. Uh-huh. Let's see when the crowd. I want to hear the crickets stop. Oh. And that's just a tiny sliver. I don't like the I can't tiniest. Even look at it. There was an owl and crickets. Uh, by the way, the birds stopped. And now they're starting again. Yeah. Man, the poor FedEx guy. <laughs> he just made it a delivery over there. I think he stopped. He probably like stopped down there and like enjoyed it a little bit. Yeah, because all cars stopped. I didn't hear any cars. Wow. Wow. That's it. And then... That was incredible. Back. No, I haven't. There's like an hour of work I need to catch up on. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave up on a Monday how to watch it. Back after seeing, like, how do you just go back to your daily life after seeing something like that? You know, I have been such a negative Nancy for like months. Like the eclipse, people are flying in from all over the world to come to Texas. Or Niagara Falls has a million people going. Um, all these locations, and now I'm like, oh, that was worth it. Yeah. That's probably worth it. Especially like in Niagara Falls with all the people. I bet you it was just like, oh, ah, yeah. or it hasn't happened yet, but it'll happen. So it'll happen in a few hours there. Wow. That was really neat. All right, sad reaction. It's over. You're sad. It's, it's over. Still I mean, it's still not over. It's still just a sliver right now. Oh, Isn't that amazing? crazy? Did you see how the like the Whenever crickets started chirping like it was nighttime? We heard that too, and the birds stopped and the crickets started up, and yeah. I heard an owl. I heard a I heard a frog. <laughs> yes, I heard an owl. I heard a frog. You heard frogs start? Yeah. Three minutes. I timed it. Three minutes and twenty-three milliseconds. Until it broke through. I know. No, until it. Yeah. Look at Starting that. to get light again. Oh, look at that one, and it's cool. And then, like through my glasses, I got like that. But that one is isn't good. I got you that got tons through my, of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> through my glasses. Show me one of Lincoln. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you weren't in school now. I was like, I don't know why everyone let everybody out of school. And now I'm like, worth it, worth it. Yeah. All right. So here's the time lapse, and I'll, I'll play this for you on the screen. But what I just noticed here is that it just like the lights turn off because it's capturing five second intervals. So it goes boop, off, boop, back on. <laughs> That's about it. That's crazy.